Let's talk about optimizing your Airbnb for maximum profit. One of the things that I like to do is look at the performance of other Airbnbs in the areas that I want to launch. So if I'm going to be launching in a new city, I want to personally go and check out other Airbnbs that are similar in bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage, amenities, location, and the amount of guests that they are hosting. And so what I'll do is I'll go on the Airbnb platform, I'll click on these properties, I'll check their calendars, I'll see how much they're charging per night, how much they're charging for a cleaning fee, how many people they're hosting, what amenities they have. And I like to make a list of all the things that I can do better. So let's say there's three or four other properties in that area similar to the one I want to launch. And maybe I notice that all these other properties don't have a pool. And the one I'm looking at does have a pool. And maybe these other properties are hosting six to eight people in their listing, but maybe I can find a way to host 10 people on my listing. Maybe none of those other properties have a game room. So if I have enough parking in the driveway, guess what? I can convert the garage into a game room. And you start stacking up all these things that make your property unique and stand out from the rest. And then boom, next thing you know, however much revenue they're bringing in, I know I can bring an extra 20 or 30% more per month. The other thing that I'll do is I look at softwares like MashVisor and AirDNA. And MashVisor is great because it'll tell you what the revenue is for these properties for that month. So I can log in and I want to launch, you know, whatever city and it'll show me the top performing properties and even from top to bottom right the best performing properties in that area and it'll say hey Jorge this property has made seventy four hundred and thirty nine dollars this month this one made sixty eight hundred this one made you know eighty four hundred and here is their occupancy rate I get all that information from MashVisor and just so you guys know MashVisor works everywhere in the US except Puerto Rico and then I'll go on AirDNA to get the projected revenue for the next 12 months. So it'll recognize these other similar properties when I plug in an address into AirDNA's Rentalizer and it'll say, hey, based on similar properties, this property that you want to launch is projected to make, you know, say 80,000 a year or 100,000 a year. And that is how I make a decision based on data, not just based on emotion or maybe I like that area or maybe I grew up right there. The next thing that is super important, you want to make sure that the property that you're going to do Airbnb arbitrage is already renovated. You know, I always talk about this property that I had in San Diego, California for three years. The great thing is I never, ever saw this property in person. The bad thing is I never, ever saw this property in person. And so based on the experience of my guest over those three years, uh, we had a lot of partial refund requests because when we acquired the property as an arbitrage, right? It already had a lot of deferred maintenance, a lot of wear and tear. So just imagine two and three years into the lease, the landlords, probably my only bad experience where the landlords were unwilling to make any upgrades. And so we were asked for a lot of partial refunds. So learn from my mistake, guys, right? Make sure the property is fully renovated so you don't have these types of issues. By the way, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any future videos. The next part that is very important is setting up the correct price. Again, in your research through AirDNA, through MashVisor, you can see how much other people are charging. You can go to those other properties that are similar to the one you're gonna launch and you can see how much they're charging. Make sure you take that into consideration and whenever you start a brand new Airbnb, especially if it's your, your first Airbnb, you want to make sure that you price it slightly lower, maybe 10, 15 or 20 percent lower than the competition, because these other people are maybe already established. Maybe they already have 10, 20, 50, 100, you know, great reviews and yours doesn't have any social proof yet. Right. Because if 100 people said this, these properties are great, it means they're probably great. And if your property is brand new, and you're a brand new host, you don't have that social proof. And the only motivation people are gonna to have to go with yours versus the others is if you have better pricing or if you have a much better property or a combination of both. So always start 10 to 20% below, and then once you have five or 10 five-star reviews, then you can start bringing it up higher. 
The next part has to do with maximizing your occupancy. But before we do, make sure you guys hit the like button so that we can get this video in front of more people who want to be successful with Airbnb. So again, I appreciate you guys supporting my channel. I know there's a lot of Airbnb channels out there. So thank you guys for watching mine and supporting my channel. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll make sure to personally respond after you hit the like button. Now, when it comes to maximizing your rates, one of the things I like to do is adjust my prices manually. Now, I do use pricing softwares as well, but sometimes I like to go in there and change pricing for maybe specific reasons. Like if the property is vacant tomorrow and the next two days, and it's a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, it's unlikely that someone's gonna book it at a full price with short notice. Especially since most of my properties host eight to 12 people, I'm not gonna get a group of eight to 12 that are gonna pay full price when it's tomorrow and it's during the weekday. But if I bring it down maybe to 50% of my average nightly rate, there's a high possibility that I will attract a smaller group, maybe a group of two, three, four, five that are willing to book short notice. And that is one of the ways on how you can maximize your revenue. Think about it. If that happens three, four times in a month, that might be half of your rent. So that is money that you weren't you know, accounting for. Ultimately, you're gonna have more revenue and a higher occupancy rate. The next and final strategy is utilizing a software such as Guesty, that's G-U-E, I don't know why I'm doing it like this, but you guys get the point. G-U-E-S-T-Y, like Guest with a Y. And this is a one-stop shop management platform where you can host on multiple platforms like Airbnb, VRBO, HomeAway, Booking.com, and like 60 or 100 other platforms that you and I have never heard about. And with mo most of these platforms, you have the ability to sync the calendars, you can automate communications, you can give access to your cleaners. There's a lot that you can actually do with this software, so you guys should definitely check that out. With that being said, guys, make sure you guys check out the links down below and you can book a free 15-minute consultation with my team to see if we can help you start your Airbnb empire without owning real estate. And again, drop any questions in the comments below and check out one of my other videos here before you guys go anywhere. Peace.